right, hello manlets. Today I thought it'd be fun to quickly show you how easy it is to spin up a private RPC node on Solana. There are obviously a bunch of reasons why you might want to spin one of these up, performance, security, uh, more customizability, etc. So let's just get right to it. So I'm already on the Helios.dev website and then here I'm just going to press start building. And once I do that, I will get a pop-up that tells me that there's going to be a version upgrade soon on the Solana RPCs. And so if you haven't done so, definitely do that. Migrate your calls that are going to be deprecated. Otherwise, totally will stop quote tweeting you with three emojis. So let's click got it here. And let's go to dedicated nodes as your first node. And then here we have the option to enable resource intensive calls. So these are things like very, very heavy GPA calls. I'm not going to do that for this, but you can if you want. And then there's some more information on exactly what this entails. And then we're just going to go look at the different node types that we have. They have different hardware requirements or characteristics, but also they have different kind of availabilities for different parts of the world. So for example, Tokyo, London, Vancouver, Dublin, etc. And these are not an inventory because there's generally shortages. So if you want something that's available right now and you don't want to wait, let's say the four to 14 days, go to a different node type and select something that's available now. Let's do LA. And then you can kind of pick your Solana client, obviously the original Agave client. There's a Geo Labs one. And then we'll also have Fire Dancer and Franken Dancer here once they're production ready. And you can even make this into a geyser plugin. So if you want to just stream things with Yellowstone, and then we'll add different plugins soon as well. And then finally, you can add the archival option here. This is for if you want like historical get block calls since Genesis or get transaction calls. And then finally, you can pay with either crypto or fiat. I'm pretty sure all my holdings are in HSOL and I'm not going to swap back. So probably we'll just do fiat here and then click order. Then it gives a nice little summary of what we've done. Um, and then let's go to order. And once we do this, I've already logged into Stripe from beforehand. We'll just go ahead and press subscribe. And we'll wait for it to process quickly. And once it does that, it will redirect us back to the portal. And then it'll basically tell us what's happening. And so currently the status is pending, meaning it's going to basically process the order in our system. Once it does that, this will change to an underway status, which then tells you that it's actually the node is being spun up and then it'll take, you know, uh, a few minutes to, you know, tens of minutes, depending on the network kind of conditions, but also the hardware requirements, etc. And then you can also upgrade your node to something else and you can even view the dedicated metrics for it. And so this would be pretty record time if it actually got ready this fast. So probably not. Oh, okay. So it's saying the status is underway and it actually already gave us the, that's a wild name. It already gave us the URL. And so what I would do is take this URL and then maybe go to RPC testing and then post it here and then make the RPC call basically, you know, like get slot or something. And then you would run this. Now it wouldn't work right now because it's still being spun up, but that's basically how it works. And so it's pretty easy. And then you can kind of just delete the node if you decide you don't want it anymore and you can even add new nodes. And then the final thing is if you have sensitive latency requirements such that like 10 to 20 milliseconds really makes a difference for you, you can actually just contact us and we can actually set up an alternate route to bypass auth and there won't be any auth checks. And so you'll have to take security pretty seriously, but some people kind of choose to do that. And, and so, yep, that's it. Oh, and then you can also make this into dark mode because why not? All right, that's all, thank you.